if I spend a lot of time on, on a concept in like I want students to understand it, but it's like important, like if you want to be in programming, right? So that's why like I'm making sure that we understand this piece. So let's go to check-in, right? So we go to uh, CMake, uh, we go to 081 library and we open savings account. And then we go ahead and include a bank account. Let's not forget our header guards, right? So if not defined, savings account header, <clears throat> then define it. Uh, and if, make sure I don't forget it, create the class savings account. Colon means inherit everything that we can publicly from which class? Account. And let's make sure we don't forget the semicolon there. We've just completed this piece here, right? So we go here. Now we have this inheritance uh, hierarchy where we inherit checking and savings from the account class. We just need to get our uh, test case in for savings, right? So uh, we'll make it easier, right? Uh, let me see here. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll come up here and we did checking. So what we'll do here is we'll copy this one here and we'll put it here. And we just change this to savings. And we change this one to savings because we want a savings. Notice it's like I do not know what savings is. Well, I uh, will help you. We need to include savings account. Okay, I'm going to run the test case. Will it work? Meaning, will it pass for savings? We got one yes. Fifty-fifty. No. Okay. One more. Break the tie. No. Okay. Two no's. One yes. Okay. No. Let's. But it depends. You said no. You said yes. <laughs> okay. Two. So uh, let's go to the test case. Uh, go here. Uh, running terminal. If you remember how the checking account worked, then it's yes, right? Because there was no parameter, no constructors for checking, and it worked. So it's like it should work for savings too. We got in trouble with checking when we tried to execute the test case that has parameter in it, right? So, and we will run into that same problem here with savings, right? Let me change this to savings. Once I change this class to savings, notice it complains. <clears throat> and it's complains because, like I said, behind the scenes, if we don't have a constructor, C++ adds that one. We didn't have it for the first test case. So C++ calls this one, and it matches a parameter, right? It's kind of like, oh, so like uh, this one has no parameter. So it only does that for the constructor that has no parameters, meaning the default constructor. It won't do it for the other ones. We have to take control of that. So meaning here, we're like, okay, so we go here, we need some value. Okay, do you all remember how to send the value to account? <coughs> Colon. 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 Account B, right? So that means initialize, initialize the account to, uh, to B, right? So now if we run our test case, then we should be fine. So we go uh, here, uh, run in terminal. Unless I made some kind of syntax error, which I did, right? So let me see. Uh, let me, uh, oh, again, right? Again, to emphasize <laughs> that if we don't put any access specifier, it defaults to private, right? So I need to make sure I put public here. So now my constructors are public. If they're private, I cannot use them, uh, call them in other classes. So we go, or in other code, sorry. 
So we go here and we should be fine now. So we're good. So the easier one to, to the easier concept today was friend functions, right? It's kind of like, okay, create a free function, make sure I define it in the class, has friend. When I create the code, I don't put friend in the CPP. That one's kind of easy, right? But this one, the inheritance constructors is kind of like tricky. But once you understand it and get it, then you won't run into issues, right? So make sure you get this because I think the next homework or the following? No, two more homeworks. You're going to have to use this concept when you create. Uh, so right now, what tic-tac-toe with a 3x3 three three matrix. The other one's tic-tac-toe with a 4x4 four four matrix just to like give you practice with inheritance, right? Some students were like, why don't you? Why don't we create Connect4? I'm like, because that would be like a lot of code for like a beginner class, right? So we'll just make it like 4x4. Four Questions? Can you do chat in the chat? Yeah. In C++ you can. In other languages you can. You, you can't directly. Uh, s again, it depends like who you talk to. But if it can be done, then there must be a reason for it, right? Question? Do you have multiple inheritance? Yes, that's, yeah, that's what he was saying. Child. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, if it's supported, right, then yeah. But it's... I mean, yeah, I've seen it like in code. In C sharp, it's not directly supported, but it's supported with a workaround, right? Mm -hmm. And C plus plus is directly supported, and then Java two is not directly supported, but indirectly you can do it. This issue. Oh. We necessarily do it, but I, I assume it would be possible inheritance and then put them for whatever for that like. Child, you can add the functions for that? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, it's, we'll do that in the next lecture. But you're correct, like, because, like, you inherited traits from your father, right? But then you have other traits, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe like he was. I mean, you inherit arms, but maybe he was left-handed, but you're right-handed, right? That's kind of yeah. So okay, so let me.